So first of all, we're going to talk about how to grow your business with UnitWise. So a lot of people think of UnitWise as a way to manage your business, but it's really more than that. You can even grow your business with UnitWise by really utilizing all of its features. It's not just maintaining your customer base, uh, you know, tracking your inventory or maintaining your expenses, things like that. It's also a way to reach out to new people, and you can do that through things like email marketing, and you can also uh, utilize the free conference calling tool as a way to really uh, stay in touch with your team and, uh, and better organize uh, certain calls or meetings, however you want to use that feature. Okay. So in the marketing section, what we're going to review is a few things. We're going to start with a resource library, which is a, an online library that you can use to upload images, audio files, and videos that you want to use in either an email or on your website. Uh, we're also going to look at the email marketing feature as well as free conference calling. In the resource library, we're going to go through how you can add documents, images, and audio files to your unit-wise resource library. Uh, this is where you would add anything that you want to include in an email marketing campaign or put on your website. Now, in the email marketing feature, we're going to go through the following topics. We're going to talk about how you can create email marketing campaigns, whether you're going to be uh, creating just one to send out real quick or if you're going to save a template and uh, create that template, save it in UnitWise, and use it ongoing throughout the year. Um, you can also schedule emails to go out in the future with UnitWise and also add documents, images, and videos to your emails. And at the end, after they've gone out, you can also view some reports on that to see who's opening and, and so forth. And as for the conference calling feature that we have in UnitWise, we can talk about how you can schedule calls and email uh, that information out to your either your unit or whoever you want to have calls with. And uh, you can also record them and even publish them on your website after the call has taken place. So uh, those are just, like I said, just a summary of what we're going to be going over here today in Unit 1. And I'd also like to point out that we've always got a uh, referral system in place with Unit 1 so that you can uh, refer your friends to Unit 1. So if you go into your, uh, your settings, you'll be able to find the referral page. Uh, for every four referrals that you make, you receive one month of free Unit 1. Uh, so you know, definitely share Unit 1 with your friends if you enjoy using it. Make sure to pass it along. And, uh, and let other consultants and directors know about that. All right. Uh, so again, thank you for joining. We're going to continue here at unitwise.com. Uh, as always, you can call us at 704-234-6006. If you have any questions and you want to talk to us in a little bit more detail after the webinar, you can always call us up or send us an email at heroes at unitwise.com. All right. So I'm going to close this out right now and take a look at unitwise.com. Uh, so right now I've signed into the account, and it's brought me to the dashboard page. So it's giving me a little overview of all the information that I have going on right now. Uh, you know, the dashboard includes you know all the the basic information about your business. You can see what's new in your UnitWise account, uh, view your tasks at a glance, and things like that. Now today we're going to be primarily focusing on the marketing section of UnitWise. Now, as you see here, when I click on the marketing button, it's going to cover all the topics that we're going to talk about today. We have email marketing, email templates, text blast, and also conference calling. So I'm going to click on the email marketing button here so we can pull that information up. Okay. So right now, what we've got is we've got a, uh, you can see the scheduled emails that we have. At the top, we have a brief little overview of how this whole process works. Uh, first, you can create an email template, then you can create an email marketing campaign, and you can save that, you either send it out right now or schedule it to be sent out in the future. Um, so let's, uh, without further ado, let's look over here on the right side of the page. You'll see we have a few different options here. Uh, I'm going to look at how you can create an email template first and foremost. Um, because what the template allows you to do is you can create the email template, save it, and then use it for future campaigns. Uh, if you just go to create an email marketing campaign, you can send an email, but it won't necessarily be saved, so you can send it again to a different group of people in the future. Um, so here we are in the Create Email Template page. Uh, first and foremost, you can give the email template a name. Uh, let's give it a subject line for the email and select a category or a description. 
Uh, if you have an attachment that you want to include in this email, you can also click the Choose File button to upload a file as an attachment. And then after you've done all that to, to get it started, then you can actually add the, uh, the email template itself. I've actually just been joined here by uh, Brittany. Some of you may have may know Brittany from uh, you've called in a few times. Uh, you may you may be familiar with her, and uh, she's going to be pointing out a few things as well throughout the program. Uh, so again, right here we're in the email template section. Uh, you can start out if you want to uh, customize the uh, the intro here. You can add what we call merge field options. Uh, so this allows you to do things like customize the first name of the person that you're sending it to. So if you're going to send this to uh, either your, your full list of your team members or if you're going to send this to a particular group of customers, uh, you, can, you can customize the email uh, for each person without having to send separate emails. So you can uh, say, you know, hi, and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to select uh, contact. The contact would be the person you're sending it to. The user would be you. And then for field name, I'm going to leave it at first name. Uh, so that what that does is it gives us a code right here. And you can copy this code directly into your email template by clicking here. So it's going to say, hi, contact, first name. And we're going to want to leave that alone uh, so that whenever you send out this email, the first name of the person you're sending it to will appear wherever that code is in the email. And you can continue adding information here. You can customize the fonts, uh, colors, all sorts of things. And you can also do things like add images. So I'm going to look at this uh, toolbar here. And in this row in the middle, we've got an image button. If you click on the image button, uh, it's going to ask you for a URL. Uh, if you have a URL for the image, you can do that. Otherwise, you can click the Browse Server button to uh, see what you have in your resource library. Um, Charles, with the URL, um that is in case you don't have the resource library. So if you have a plan such as um, consultant plan including marketing, you don't have the resource library, so you can use um, Dropbox and you can take the URL from the image in Dropbox and place it here for your images. Gotcha. All right. Otherwise, um, if you do have that resource library, you'll just click Browse Server to browse your unit-wise resource library. You can see what we already have in here, and if you need to choose a new file, you just click Choose File to add it to the resource library, and this is going to peruse the files that you have on your computer. Uh, I'm just going to go with, uh, with one of the images we already have here uh, for now. And here you can customize the width, height, and, uh, and things like that. I'm just going to click OK, and the image is, is, add, is added now. Uh, so you can continue uh, customizing the email with more text and also links. Uh, if you wanted to link something to say your uh, your Mary Kay store or things like that, you can click on the link button, uh, customize the URL, and uh, you know, customize it however you would prefer, and then click OK to add that link. Uh, that way you can customize the, the links in your email to uh, to whatever you, you need them to be. If it's uh, going to be linking to your, your Twitter, your Facebook, your uh, UnitWise site, or your uh, Mary Kay store, you can do all of that at, uh, through the email marketing templates in UnitWise. The other thing with the link is they can use that for adding documents to their um, site or their email as well. That's true. So if you didn't want to attach a document, you wanted to include it as a link within the email, you can do that. Um, and also that will show in your report. That's right. Yeah, so you can see who's clicking on uh, on what links are added. Uh, like I said, if you wanted to do the document, you just click on the Browse Server option there. This is going to peruse the document library that you have in UnitWise. Uh, so you can see the files that you've already added here. And if you need to add a new one, you just click Upload Document, give it a name, choose the file, and click Save to add it to your document library. Um, so that's a great way you can add uh, documents into your email without necessarily having to do the attachment. And you, that way you can have as many as you need. Uh, just keep adding links for them, and uh, they'll appear within the email itself. Uh, they just need to click on the link to see the document. Okay. Now, if uh, say I was finished with this, this whenever you know, obviously I'd make, continue adding more information here. Uh, but you'd click Save or Save and Add New if you have a new one. Uh, I'm just going to cancel this for now. Um, I'm not quite ready to, to send that out. 
But if I were ready to send an email marketing campaign, you would go to the email marketing section. You can click on create email marketing on the right side or at the top of the page. And uh, first off, you can name your campaign. So let's say we're sending out a, a Labor Day sale. I'm just going to say this campaign is the Labor Day email. Now this Labor Day email, the name of the campaign, that's only for you. That's not the subject line of the email. Uh, the next thing you can do is choose the template. So you can either choose to write a template right now, uh, just go through here, create the email and send it out, or you can choose ready-made template. Uh, so if you've already created the email template in unit one, you click ready-made template, select the category, and then select the template name. And, uh, and that's, that's how you can choose that. Uh, the email from name, that would be the, the name of the person it's coming from, so this is going to be your name there. And you can also specify the send date and time. So if you want to schedule this to go out in the future, you can do that very easily. So if this is a Labor Day email, you want it to go out you know, maybe first thing Monday morning, you can easily customize that. Let's say we're going to send this out at 9 a.m. on Monday. Click Set. So we have uh, going out on September 7th at 9 a.m. Uh, and now you can select who you're going to be sending it to. So by default, we're going to have your contact groups as well as some default groups that we create in Unit 1. So if you're sending this to just all of your active customers, you can do that or if you want to narrow it down a little bit to uh, certain custom groups that you've already created in UnitWise, you can select those here. Um, now, uh, if you don't have a contact group or you just have a few people in mind that you want to send that to, you can click this box that says check the box to send emails to individuals. And in this case, you can simply start either typing names and email addresses or you can, uh, or you can just uh, start, start adding them manually there. Uh, so that's how you can uh, you can customize that. Let's say I just want to send it to a particular group here. Uh, when it's ready to schedule, you just click Schedule, and, and the, then it's going to automatically send out uh, on that day. And the great thing about scheduling emails is you can schedule them up to two years in advance. So if you want to get all of your emails scheduled, you know, for the next few months, you can do so and have them ready to go out. And that way, you don't have to even worry about thinking about them. You know they're going to be sent out on time. That's right. And that's great for birthdays, uh, holidays. If you know you're going to send out certain things at certain times, you can go ahead and have those scheduled and ready to go. Uh, so here you see the option, schedule it to be sent in the future. You can send it now or save it for later. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and cancel this one right now. Uh, but if I wanted to move forward, those are the options you have. Uh, we also have a feature in UnitWise called Text Blast. Uh, this is a great way that you can stay in touch with your unit or uh, certain certain contacts on the go. Uh, you can create the text that you would be sending in unit ones and send to uh, a specific number of contacts. So our our basic package. This is an add-on feature in unit ones. The basic feature uh, starts at five dollars a month for fifty contacts. So uh, and it's unlimited messaging. Is that yes? You can text those 50 contacts as many times as you would like, um, but only those 50 contacts. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, um, you know, typically you'd use that, you know, if you're contacting your unit or you have a, a particular group uh, of people that you're, you're reaching out to quite a bit, uh, you can custom customize these messages and send them directly from your UnitWise account, and, uh, and you can even schedule them to be sent in the future. Okay. The other thing with the text blast is since it's an automatic text message, um, you'll have to receive an approval message before you can begin texting them because the standard text messaging rates do apply. That's right. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, without any further ado, let's move on to the conference calling section of UnitWise. Now, when we click on conference calling, uh, the first thing you're going to see is uh, the section at the top here where it gives you your own conference call number. This is the number you would be sharing uh, when you invite somebody to a conference call, and you also have your conference code. So this is the number, and this is the code that they would have to enter. Uh, you also have a host code. Now, this is just for you. That's just for you, know, you hosting the call. And uh, you even have a guest speaker code here that you can provide if you're going to have somebody else that you'd like to be uh, speaking on the call. Um, 
Now if you scroll down, you can see we've got a number of host phone controls that you can use if you want to mute your audience, you want to uh, mute your own line, or, uh, or even record the call. You see uh, number five here, five star, is how you can turn on free conference recording. Uh, so whenever you get on the call, you click five star, you're going to automatically record that call so that you can retrieve it uh, through your UnitWise account and uh, you can then post it on your website, you can share it with individuals, and so forth. Now to actually uh, schedule a call, We've got an option right here in the middle of the page. It says click here to schedule calls and notify attendees. Uh, so in the middle of the page, uh, you can select the reason for the call. Now that's only for you. It's just, you know, a title. We'll say this is a, we're running a Labor Day promo and you want to talk about it with, uh, with your team here. Uh, the email from name, that'd be your name. Uh, you can select the uh, message subject. You can customize that. By default, it's join conference call, but you can customize that to whatever you would prefer it to be. Um, and you can also set up the conference call date and time. So let's say we were having a call this Friday night at, uh, let's say, 7 o'clock. Go ahead and set that. Now, this is the date of the call, not the date of the time that you want to invite people to this call. So you can select a contact group, just like with the email marketing. You can select who you're sending this to. Uh, if you have a custom group that's already been created and unit-wise, you can do that. Or you can uh, check the box to send the email to uh, individuals. When we scroll down a little bit, uh, one thing I didn't mention here, you can also check this box to add this as an event in your unit-wise calendar. Uh, so that will automatically add it to your utilized calendar so you don't have to worry about going around and, and adding it there separately. All right. Now when we get down here, this is the reminder that is going to be sent. Now this is basically an email that's going out to remind people to join this particular conference call. Um, so you can set it up how often you want this uh, reminder to be sent. If you want this email to go out, uh, a reminder of this to go out uh, by email a few minutes before the call, or even uh, you can change it to a few hours or a few days before the call. Uh, you, can, you can do that and add multiple reminders as well. So if you wanted to, an email to go out 10 minutes before and also one day before the call, you can select that to have multiple reminders sent to your attendees for this particular call. All right, and now in the email section itself, uh, we can customize it just like we could customize the, uh, the email marketing. So I'm going to start out by customizing the first name and say hi. And then here in the merge field, I'm going to select contact, the contact the one you're sending it to, the user would be yourself. Uh, and for field name, I'm going to leave it at first name. And then we have the code generated here. And you can click this little button here to copy the code directly into the email template. So it says hi, first name. And then we have the pre-made message here. Now you're not going to want to mess with the information in this uh, pre-filled message because it's got the uh, conference call start date, start time, and the time zone that you're in. Um, it's also going to pro be providing the uh, conference call dial-in number and also the conference code. So everything the, that the person needs to join the conference call is going to be automatically in this email. Um, now if you wanted to go ahead and add add more information about you know what's going to be covered on this conference call. You can go ahead and add a custom message to let them know what you're going to be talking about. And uh, you know, if you want to talk about the duration or anything like that, you can add you know, your custom message right here in this email. Um, and once it's ready, you just click Send Notification. And it's going to send out this, uh, this reminder about the conference call to all the people that you specified, either individuals or if you've selected contact groups. And uh, the reminders will also be sent, uh, how it, in, however you specify. So this email is going out instantly. And then you will also have these additional reminders that go out either a few minutes before, a few days before, a few hours before the actual call takes place. So you can make sure you maximize your audience for that. All right, so let's say I'm going to go ahead and send the notification. After it's been sent, let me go back to uh, the conference calling section. We can take a look at what else is going on here. Now on the right side, you'll see we have a few different sections. We have the My Conference Code, Call Schedules. Um, those would be uh, all the calls that have been scheduled through this particular account. 
You can also click on the Call Recordings button to uh, listen to your previous recordings. Um, every time you make a um, recording or a you know, conference calling, they um, automatically record unless you use that star file feature to turn it off. Um, but the cool thing here is um, you'll click where it says click here to retrieve your recording. Um, and that's how you upload the new recording. That's right. So after your call takes place, make sure you hit that star 5 to record the call. And uh, whenever the call is ended, you log into your UnitWise account, click the button that says click here to retrieve your recordings, and it's going to automatically uh, refresh and you'll see the call. You'll be able to listen to it directly from your UnitWise account. And, uh, and you can also, we have this great feature called Get Embed Code. So this is one of our old calls here. I'm going to click on the Get Embed Code option. And what it does is it provides an embed code that we can then add to our UnitWise website. Uh, so you just click, click here, click copy. You can either you know, right click, click copy, or just do the uh, Control C on your keyboard to copy it. Uh, and then you can go into your website uh, and go ahead and embed that as, a, as an HTML uh, embedded object on your site. Um, so we go through that. Right? Yep, we can. And also, um, there's a publish icon for you to use, too. We can get through. That's true. Now, for those of you with the website package, this is just a quick little summary of how you can add the conference call to your website itself. So I'm on the edit site, and I just copied the embed code. Uh, the next thing you want to do is go to the toolbar here and click on the embed media button. Now this allows you to paste any embed code. Uh, so whether this is a, you know, a Twitter feed or a, a Facebook like button, you can post any embed code in here, whether it's a, any, any type of HTML object, and click OK. And now you've got this option right here to play your most recent uh, conference call directly on your website. Uh, so you can you know, enter some information about that, and your, anybody who comes to your website will be able to listen to that directly. So you can add a whole new page if you want to have just a list of all the different conference calls you've had, or if you just want to record these, these calls on your own. Uh, that's a great way to, uh, to share information. You just uh, record the conference call yourself, uh, share it on your page, and it can just be, you know, just inspiration or uh, something that you want, you just want to get out there on your website uh, so that your, your unit can use that to their advantage. And uh, you know, one option we didn't talk about earlier is the, uh, the dial-in recordings. So when you go to the call recordings option here, after you've made your calls, you've uh, refreshed, and you've, uh, you've got the recordings in your UnitWise account, in the action column you have two options. You can either delete it, or you can click on this publish recording icon. And we click, when you click on publish recording, what that's going to do is it's going to make it available as a dial-in recording. So what that does is it, it will give you a phone number for the call, an access code, and uh, you know start time and time duration, things like that. This allows your uh, your unit to be able to call in to this particular number and listen to a previously recorded conference call uh, at their convenience. So let's take one of our old ones here. This, this one's okay. We can go ahead and I'll say I'll make that a dial-in recording. Okay, are you sure? Yeah. The one thing with dialing recordings is you can only have one recording published at a time, so only one dial-in recording at one time. And over here, just like with the other one, you need to click the click here to retrieve your dial-in recording. So I'm going to click this button here, and it's going to refresh in unit one. All right. And so now we have this, this latest conference call that we made. And now it's available by phone for anybody who wants to call in. They can call this number right here and enter this access code. And they'll be able to, uh, to download or to, to listen to the, the call uh, at their convenience. So they don't have to call at any particular time. They can uh, call at any time this particular number, this access code and the call will automatically play for them. That's right. And also, you, if you decide you want to change the dial-in recording, you can click on the delete button in the action column. It won't actually delete the call recording. 
just clicking delete here will remove it as a dial-in recording. All right. So um, that's a quick summary of the uh, the whole marketing section of UnitWise. Um, just to summarize, you know, we've looked at email marketing, how you create a template, then you create an email marketing campaign. Uh, you can create text blasts, send them to uh, to your team, your your contacts, and also send out free conference calling. So you, you can organize, schedule, and uh, and record these conference calls uh, through UnitWise and add them to your website or make them a dial-in recording so anybody can listen to them. Uh, we talked a little bit about the resource library. If you're on a package that includes the resource library, you can also manage that by just going up to the top, click on the resource library button, and then choose whether you're going to be working with documents, images, photos, audio files, videos, or your training center. So I'm going to click on the document section. And this is just a quick little way you can view all of the documents and information that's been uploaded within your UnitWise account. Uh, so if you're going to be adding a new document, you just click the Upload Document here. Enter a name, select the file, and then click Save to save it in your account. And uh, once you've added it in your UnitWise account, it just makes it that much quicker to add it to places like an email or your website and so forth. If you do have any questions, we do have a, uh, a question box on the uh, on the toolbar here. You can go ahead and, and type those in if you have any questions right now. Otherwise, you can always contact us. Uh, uh, yeah, we're getting a question right now about the conference calling and if it's free or not. Yeah, this, this is a totally free um, a free tool that's included with UnitWise. Uh, there's no extra cost involved with that, and usually the the calling is uh, should be toll free numbers, uh, so that it's uh, very usable and should be available to anybody that that wants to use that. Um, one other thing I'd like to point out is um, the reports that you can view after sending an email marketing, or even after si sending your scheduled email for the conference calling. Um, if you go to email marketing and then click on send email, um, here there's a column called report. Um, these are all your emails that have been sent and if you click on report, you can view um, who received the emails, who opened them, um, who didn't receive the emails, and you can also view if anybody has had an email that bounced, they unsubscribed, um, all kinds of information like that. Another thing that Charles showed you was um, adding links to your emails. By adding a link um, to your email, you can see who clicked on the link, which is great um, if you're running a promotion and you want to see who actually went to your website um, to look or even order. You can see who was there. If you provided a document as a link, you can see who clicked on that link. And um, so you know you can follow up with them because you know they've already looked at your document. So it's just a great way, a great tool for um, learning about your customer group, your consultant group. Um, it really anyone who you're emailing, you can get a lot of good customer response information. That's true, and that is that is uh, an incredible value here. Again, there's nothing extra, no extra cost for these tools. I mean, there's a lot of other email marketing tools that are out there, and they they definitely charge. And they'll, they'll nickel and dime you for every every little add-on feature. So, um, just want to point out, you know, this is all stuff that's included with your UnitWise account, uh, and there shouldn't be anything extra that you would have to pay for for email marketing or free conference calling. The only thing that's extra would be the the text blast. Right, and that you're only purchasing the groups of contacts. You're not paying per text. That's right. So you actually come out a lot cheaper than if you were to use um, your standard um, text messaging on your phone. That's very true. All right. Well, um, if there's no further questions, I just want to say thanks again for joining us. Um, we appreciate all of you, all of you spending the time to, to learn a little bit more about UnitWise. We're always happy to uh, to help in any way we can. And if you do have any questions, you, you think about something later, you can always call us at 704-234-6006, the number on your screen. And you can also send us an email at heroes at or just go to the website and click the chat button. You can chat with us 
any time during our live support hours of uh, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern Time, uh, or you can use any, any of the other uh, support options available. Again, we really appreciate you taking the time to join us today. Uh, if there's no further questions, we're going to go ahead and, uh, and close down the webinar. But thank you very much for your attendance, and we hope you have a wonderful day.